Um, hi, nice to meet you. I'm Roxanne. I co-founded AnyShift, and I'm going to present uh, five reasons why you're still struggling to debug your infrastructure. Um, first reason uh, that we saw we were speaking to different clients. First one, you still have a lack of centralized visibility uh, within your infrastructure. Um, lack of visibility between cloud resources, Kubernetes resources, data ones, and providers such as DNS, Cloudflare, etc. The example I'm going to speak about um, is a company where actually they had a huge spike in AWS cost, something that happens quite frequently, um, which was due to a surge in inter-region uh, traffic, surge in uh, traffic. Um, the root cause error of that was actually a misconfiguration uh, in Elm variables. So the interagent was with dif between Paris and London. Um, a lot of time was lost uh, because of this lack of visibility, searching through different uh, files such as Starform, Elm files, etc. Second one, uh, why you're struggling to debug your infrastructure in under an hour. Uh, you have a lack of uh, historical data and change management uh, and change management. I'm still going to speak about uh, AWS costs, uh, and the story is about uh, a bill with, which has just tripled uh, in a month. Uh, the root cause of this issue was that a junior SRE uh, had changed uh, like the Kubernetes cluster from 10 to 100 nodes. Um, a month later, they realized that uh, it, they applied it to their entire um, configuration, uh, and because it was like a minor tag update, which was made and not a major one. Uh, the senior SRE, a month later, had to go through git diffs, ask on Slack, and also search on the AWS console uh, to realize that. Third reason, um, you have an insufficient impact analysis of your changes. So this team was actually uh, doing their provisioning of the infrastructure with Terraform and using good practices. Uh, one repository for the IAM, for the accesses, uh, another one for their network, and another one for their core info. Uh, one of the issues with your Terraform plan is that it won't take into account um, multiple repositories. And so if you're about to change a module, uh, you will not know the impacts on other repositories on uh, other resources. And here, uh, this SRE took an entire morning to actually understand uh, the impact of adding a new subnet uh, to the VPC. Fourth reason why it's hard actually to understand what has happened. Uh, fragmented documentation. Uh, very often, uh, your documentation uh, is going to be scattered uh, among Git, your code base, uh, Confluence, or Slack. And you can have like bad postmortem or bad documentation about what has happened. Um, especially uh, your code base, your Git code base, with your infrastructure as code, will not necessarily uh, represent what's happening in your cloud. You have some drifts, things that were done manually on the console, dead code, shadow IT. Um, because of that, and also like other reasons that company face, such as high turnover, legacy code, and bad communication, um, it will be hard actually to get the information right on time. Fifth uh, reason uh, I wanted to speak about, uh, which is interesting, is about uh, multiple and complex environments, multi-cloud. For some reasons, your company uh, can be on multiple clouds for redundancy or for compliance reasons, and uh, it's actually hard to manage it and to understand what has happened. Um, this specific example uh, is made from like a company that had to do a migration between AWS to GCP, and they had to change like all their accesses uh, from one cloud to another, and. One of the SRE actually doing that uh, made a mistake, it happens, by deleting a key and um, actually creating an outage, uh, still due to a bad visibility between multiple cloud environments. Uh, those are four reasons um, that we have seen at any shift uh, that actually make it hard sometimes to debug your infrastructure in under an hour. 
you have some tools uh, to actually um, solve it. We're also working at it on any shift and happy to discuss it uh, after it. Thank you so much.